Well, 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 today is going to be a fun day. Good morning, good morning, welcome back. It is Wednesday, I was going to say Tuesday, definitely Wednesday, and I'm at the theater. It is um, 6.36, which is um, great. My watch is doing weird things. Um, starting at 7 today, happens occasionally. Technically, my schedule is always 7 to 2, but I usually work 8 to 12, but um I got a text from my boss yesterday saying, hey, can you stay until 1230? Because that's when the person that's replacing me for the summer is coming in. And so just to meet her and get her squared away with schedule and stuff like that for training for over, over the month or whatever it's going to be. And um, so normally I'd be off at 11. <laughs> So I now have to find stuff to do until 12.30, and then I don't know how long that's going to take. And um, then I, um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get home after that. Because <laughs> I was fine getting off at 11.30. I had a ride. Getting off at noon, I would have a ride. Getting off anytime after 12.30, I'm either going to have to take the bus or, depending on how long it takes, just wait till my mom gets off work. Yeah, fun times. Anyways, we're going to push through. We've been mountains and peaks and valleys with my sleep schedule with my sleeping lately like sleeping great terribly great terribly great I'm assuming tonight will be great uh it's also 16 degrees outside already and like I said it is before 7 a.m so it's going to be a scorcher today it's already hot in the theater I'm dying wearing this sweater but um you know we'll get through anyways that's that's the update is um gonna be a long work day which been a long time since I've <laughs> worked really more than four hours really um, and then when I get home you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sew because <laughs> that's what my life is actually I'm probably gonna iron gonna try to finish ironing all those lanyards so that we can just do them all together okay I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink I don't know if and when I'll be able to check in before I go home today because it's Wednesday, which means all the techs are in. It's a second Wednesday, which means my boss is here, another coworker is here, admin person or accounting person is here, and also new person. So it's gonna be a full theater, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, it has been a long day. It is like 10 to three. I just finished, so got here at seven, did a bunch of stuff. My replacement came in at 12, well I had lunch, the replacement came in at 12.30, but before that I had a meeting with my boss regarding expectations for this summer for when I'm not here so I could pass those on. And then we did like a hour long, just get to know the theater kind of thing. And then she left and then I had more stuff to do and then all of a sudden we started to panic about um, sanitizer and like having enough sanitizer for going forward because we're, we're pretty busy over the next like two weeks with dance and stuff so yeah so that's been fun but I am done now I am clocked out uh, my mom gets off at like half an hour so I'm just gonna chill here and also it was a latte Wednesday so that was nice got a frap this morning but oh I'm just ready to be done and go home and hopefully not sleep <laughs> and um, sew some more. No, we're gonna be ironing. I think that's the plan. I still have like another dozen, maybe two dozen lanyards just to iron, and then we'll move on to the, the sewing portion. But that's where we're at. I'm just super tired, but I want to check in while I was still here because I got, a, got half an hour to kill anyways, but good day. I think my replacement will be able to cover me no problem over the summer, but we're gonna have a couple training shifts together. So fingers crossed everything goes well. I just need to get her a set of keys so she can get into the theater. <laughs> but I have like two weeks before her first day. So fingers crossed all goes well. But yeah, that's, um, that's where we're at. <laughs> you can tell I iron a lot because I don't know if you can really see it. This is, this strip is like already discolored and I've only had this ironing board for like a week. And also that I'm very obviously ironing like the same thing because it's in the same strip. Anyways, that's what we're gonna get back to. I still have this set of lanyards to iron, which I think is 10 and two sets of six. So 22, I think. Um, math skills and brain skills aren't doing great right now because I'm quite sleepy. I came home and I was like, 
being conscious is terrible. And I was like, I'm just going to go to sleep. I'm not going to eat dinner. And um, that didn't fly as I didn't think it would. So just had dinner. It's only 10 to 6. And um, I am very tired, but I feel that going to sleep now, one, won't work, and two, um, probably isn't a great idea. I do have to be up again for work early tomorrow. <laughs> the struggles of the brain are very apparent, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna iron. I'm almost out of these clippy things. I don't know, I don't think I have quite enough, um, but I did pin some of the, or clipped some of the bandanas that I can't sew because I don't have the right thread, so I can just take it off there if need be. So we will make it work, and then depending on how I feel after I finish the ironing portion of the evening, <laughs> we will see what we're going to do next, whether we're going to sew, we got the, the trusty brother up here, or if it's just going to be a fetal position in bed until I fall asleep. <laughs> So I, I'm, it, it was a long day, one, I haven't worked like over a four hour shift or like barely over a four hour shift in a very long time and I worked over seven hours, which I know, like, I mean, I used to work 10 hour shifts, so like, I get it, like, I'm just being a chump, but <laughs> I just, I need to work my way up to it and it would be ideal if I actually could work my way up to like a seven or eight hour shift or even six hours regularly um, because come summer we're going to be hitting the ground running with eight hour shifts seven days a week for two and a bit months. Anyways with that lovely thought I'm going to continue watching The Rookie. Still can't decide on like the actual show. I love the camera angles and shots like they're amazing. The soundtrack is great. I like the people but I don't, I can't tell what type of show it's trying to be. I don't remember if I mentioned this. I can't tell if it's like trying to be a comedy or action or whatever. So anyways, we're just along for the ride. Along. Kept going. <laughs> Honestly, the length of time it takes to sew these, I'm already like halfway through, is just obscene. Obscene. Oh yeah, it's still going. But then, it's better because I have to do the entire other side. It's honestly just ridiculous. I mean, they look so nice when both sides are sewn properly and I have this lovely pile here right now, um, nine, 10, 11, maybe 12. And we're, we're slowly getting through them. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get as many done between like now and Friday, so like tomorrow, Thursday, um, <laughs> so I can identify what colors I need for threads. So like I can just go once kind of thing. Like we'll see what happens, but like this one, I don't know that I have a thread that matches it. And then I have the two, my brain just stopped. The two bandanas that I need the proper thread for. And I think, because I kind of cut both, I think the rest will be okay. Like, I think the rest I should have the thread for, but then there's the added bonus of I could run out of thread. So that's where we're at, but it's um, quarter to nine now. So with eating dinner so early, like eight at like 5.15, with eating dinner so early, um, definitely getting stuff done. And I am also currently planning I'm going to dinner at my auntie's. I have not seen her outside of work since she came to Blind Channel in August. That was the last time I saw her outside of work. And I mean, technically I was working, but... And then prior to that, it was before March 2020 outside of work. It's so stupid. I hate it. But we were all being extra safe. We were all being extra careful. Plus my friend with his health stuff, we just, you know... Um, I, I want to make sure that one, 
he wasn't isolated and have nobody to hang out with and two that I wasn't going to make him sicker so yeah so it's so exciting I'm I don't know if it's gonna be spaghetti she makes some mean spaghetti or steak steak is also good um but yeah I'm just I'm really excited so that's next Sunday <sighs> it'll be good I'll get to see my cousins too I saw my one cousin a couple months ago she came over because she needed some embroidery stuff so I, I gave it to her and then um, the next day we did a FaceTime two three hour embroidery call which was really nice but in person I have not seen my other cousin in like freaking ages and his girlfriend they got engaged his fiance they've gotten engaged since the last time I've seen them in person and yeah so it's exciting the world is starting to go back to normal and now I'm just going to continue my obsessive compulsive addiction. I know my limits and I play within them. <laughs> Alrighty, so update time. It is, oh, it's quarter to 12. I should really be climbing into bed here shortly, but it's like 27 and a half degrees in my room and I'm melting. So I'm like, really, am I going to get this late? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> season two of The Ricky ended and it was such a cliffhanger and so compelling that I was like, all right. I'll buy season three so I can watch it. And so I'm on the second episode of season three and they're finally addressing one of the things I was having issues with which was like glossing over police work. Like every single thing they went to was like oh we're gonna pull out our guns all the time which is problematic and so now they're actually addressing like hey maybe let's not pull out guns this is training so that's good and there's a super racist <laughs> training officer so that's probably going to be a learning experience i don't know what's going to happen but i'm happy because like i said it seemed oh my laptop ugh my laptop decided it needed to restart it was not working properly um yeah so it's nice that they're seeing what's going on in the world and they're highlighting it so that's cool um also i've been working oh my god go away <sighs> okay also i've been working on the lanyards so i have this huge stacks everything i sewed today is um has its clip on it and is clipped at the end here so that's exciting oh my goodness everything's gonna fall down i don't know how many are there but there are a lot there so that is super exciting also i feel like i'm about to have a wardrobe malfunction Anyways, computer's still doing weird things. I'm like, listen, buddy, like, I need you this summer so you can edit vlogs. Don't mess with me yet. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna finish watching this episode. Hopefully my computer won't crash again. And then uh, I'm gonna go to sleep. So I will see you probably at the theater in the morning. <laughs> Good night. And I live, I mean barely, but I am here, I'm conscious, I am at work. I was gonna say I'm here, I'm conscious, I'm awake, yes. Actually, I guess saying I'm at work is like also the same as saying I'm here. Anyways, hello, I'm here. Look at that red picture. It is still casting red on me. <laughs> anyway, um, I've been really good lately at even when I've been tired, not napping during the day in hopes that I get to sleep at night. Ah, but it's been so hot in my room that it's kind of like can't get to sleep anyways because I'm like <laughs> So um, I think I might nap today depending how things go I should it's currently 6:35, so a little early which means I get some chill time before I go start but um I should be off at 11 and so I think it's The braid in the mouth neither of them were doing anything there it might be an update day, but we will see how we can to function. That that kind of worked. Um, I was thinking more about the rookie, which is the show I've been watching. I don't remember if I mentioned it yesterday, but there was some, there was some stuff that just didn't make sense plot wise in at the end of season two, and I'm like, the more I think about it, the more I'm like. Doesn't make sense. Also, like, I don't, 
I mentioned like their camera stuff is really good, but they were doing like stuff with the camera that immediately made me think something and I ended up being right. I'm like, I don't know if it was supposed to be revealed that soon or if it's supposed to be like a build up to that. But anyways, just the, just thoughts. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink. <laughs> and um, watch some YouTube while I figure out what the heck is going on with my brain because it's I think it's overtired I think that's what it's doing it's having a good time and um yeah we'll, we'll see what we can get done today I'm running out of thread for things as I mentioned last night for sewing purposes um I have a set of lanyards two sets of lanyards I think I have three sets of lanyards that I can't actually sew at the moment because I don't have the correct thread which I think might mean that I have everything sewn and clipped that I can. So maybe I could finish a batch of lanyards today, depending how things go, but I'm, I'm rambling now. So I'm gonna try to nip that in the bud. And like, figure it out, figure it out. Okay, so at the theater, we call June dance season. I mean, technically like end of May usually because it's just dance shows, dance shows, dance shows. And this year, obviously we can't have an audience because of COVID regulations. So the school that is currently rehearsing did a thing where you could buy a seat basically where they put your picture on so you can see that all of these have pictures on them so i'm not going to show them obviously because of privacy but there are a lot of puppers and kitties which is really cool but i gotta show you my favorite because there are questions there are so many questions whose parent are you <laughs> but like seriously like there's a story there i'm like either the dance school thought it'd be really funny to put that up there or somebody was like, hey, instead of putting your picture, let's put a chipmunk. Or one of these dancers was raised by chipmunks and that's really admirable that this is where they are in their life. Guessing it's probably not the third one, but yeah, I like, I, I walked in earlier and I saw the backs of everything from here and I was like, oh, right, right, right. I remember emails about that. And then I went to the stage having forgotten about that. And um, I just heard like a bunch of weird noises. And so I was like trying to determine if they were inside the theater and maybe somebody had left a door open. I was like, oh no, they're outside the theater. <laughs> but I like got onto the stage and I just see all these faces looking at me. I'm like, that's creepy. And I was like, oh, there's puppies. And I was like, a squirrel? And I had to get closer as a chipmunk, but yeah. So <laughs> that's how my morning is going. It's um, after eight now, so we are making progress, but yeah, I just, I had to share that. The chipmunk, it's just weird. I've been informed that there is also a rooster, so we're gonna go find it. Yep, there he is. He's kind of like a pretty angry looking rooster. Also, I spotted this guy in a high fizz vest. He's so cute. Clearly I am working hard today. Uh, I don't know, it's like, what is today? Today is Thursday. Oh my God, it's only day two of like my six day slew, but yeah, I, it's, it's, blowing out is what it is uh it's just it's either really creepy or really cute there's no in between for those pictures for me but it is now i don't think it's been long it's been half an hour since i picked up the camera last again working hard today um i don't think i have too too much to do though which is nice i'm just kind of taking a moment to go over everything because like every day is different i like routine but unfortunately with the instability and everything changing on a regular basis, there isn't really a routine, but I think I'm, I, I think we're doing all right. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to hydrate because it's really hot again today. I think it's supposed to rain for like the next week and I'm kind of happy about it. You know, even as I was coming up the stairs when I got home, I was like, you know, maybe I'm okay, maybe I don't need a nap. And then I walked to my room and I was like, Whoa. so I think we're gonna do it. We're just gonna commit, have a nap. It is currently uh, 11.22, so I'll probably set an alarm maybe for like 2.30. 12, one, two, that's a lot. We'll, we'll think about it. Um, and then when I wake up, these are the things that I want to accomplish today. 
the main things, invoicing, 100%. And this batch of lanyards, like if I can get these done, I'm more than halfway done lanyards, so that's fantastic. And then I can think about focusing on the cotton pads while I wait until I can get thread. But finishing these first is step one. Yep, first and step one, makes sense. Um, finishing these first would be great because then that's the mass majority of them, I think. I think I've slightly more than half here. And then tomorrow, I think I'm gonna go to the fabric store after work to get thread. So again, I need to figure out what color thread I need and then terry cloth. <laughs> I have so much sewing to do still, but it'd be great if I could kind of maybe Friday <sighs> I have wristlets too. Maybe by the end of this weekend at the latest have everything done that isn't the cotton pads because the cotton pads are just very time intensive from the cutting, which I still need to do some more cutting for the terry cloth. Um, I have some that left and then some I'm going to buy to just the sewing because you sew them and then you clip them and then you flip them and then you top stitch them. But the nice thing about those is there's not a lot of pinning involved. Normally I just pin the opening after I flipped it. So there's that. Anyways, I'm rambling. I am sleepy. I'm gonna change and have a little nap a Rooney. <laughs> and I will check in with you afterwards, hopefully a lot more refreshed and just like ready to just crush the rest of the day. Remember how I said I didn't wanna sleep till 2.30 because I thought it was probably too long? Well, slept until three. <laughs> Um, I set an alarm for 2 and then 2.15 and then 2.30 and then 3 and um, oh I think there's one for 2.45 as well and it just wasn't happening but I am up now I'm gonna have a juice box I am so warm it is 28 degrees in my room so it's gone up like 3 degrees since I went to sleep uh, but we're gonna cool down a bit have a snack watch something and then um, so I really totally forgot. Like, how can I forget? Because it's like sitting right there. But I totally forgot what I was going to do next. So that's the plan. Also, I got a cute dress in the mail. It's the same as my orange one, except, ooh, I'm real pale. I'm just really pale. Slightly better. It's the same as my orange one, except I sized down on this one. I think it actually fits me better, but which is fine. I can probably um, modify, adjust, tailor the other one. But like, look at this pattern. It's so cute. I love it. Ah, okay. Anyways, I'm going to do the things I mentioned. <laughs> Still waking up. I have been sitting at my sewing machine for hours. It is 20 to 12 now. I have a nice bin of lanyards <laughs> to show my work. There's so many. I don't know how many there are. I actually found um, some thread. That's super dusty. Eek. I found some thread that I didn't think I had like a color match so that's exciting and now I'm on like my second massive batch of these so sewing the cotton to the terry cloth I'm just gonna sew as much as I have terry cloth you can tell I'm doing the terry cloth thing because I'm covered in terry cloth um <laughs> snow I guess um I don't have much more left that is cut I think I have this stack and then a stack a little bit bigger like look at, look at that can you see all that fluff <laughs> regret um <laughs> why um so yeah I think I'm just gonna finish with these squares and then the other squares and then tidy up for the night because I do have to work tomorrow but I don't have to go in until eight instead of like getting to work at like <laughs> terry clock <laughs> 6 30 so that's what we're up to now and um getting through the whales and then the fun the fun mushrooms i'm gonna keep i think i have enough of the mushrooms to do um two full packs and then like five or six extra so i'm gonna keep some of those to myself because i really like them just like over here <laughs> the um floral one is the one i bought and then i was like ooh, i want this one and i was like ooh, i want this one so that's the one downside about making stuff yourself is it's like, well, I made it so I can have like 16 um, lanyards, right? We're only at three right now. So hopefully we'll stay there.
like try to get my room to cool down before I got to sleep I it's it's almost two in the morning and I'm still awake um it's still 28 degrees in here I have like three fans going I hate everything <laughs> oh, I, I can't wait oh I oh I'm covered in terry cloth and then also the like <laughs> crap from this is getting all over me now too apparently anyways um i can't wait till i get out to blind channel because it's much cooler out there i just it's supposed to rain for the next week so hopefully the temperature will drop because i just i cannot function i am miserable all the time and just so hot and like i could go sit downstairs and do nothing for hours and hours and hours so it's like not really feasible to do that because I would go nuts and I'm just oh, I can't I can't I can't with this heat I just hope it gets down to like so cold tomorrow and pouring rain and maybe the temperature will drop below 25 that'd be great anyways I'm gonna try to get to sleep now so I will see you in the next one <laughs>